Hey everyone, this is Saren and welcome to the Beginner Runes series. And we're now going to be looking at the second rune of the Elder Fudak, Uruz. I'm not going to try and pronounce the Old English or the um, other interpretations of it. So we're sticking with Elder Fudak, Uruz. It literally means our rocks or our rocks. Um, said the same way. This is an early version of a wild ball. Just imagine something a bit bigger, more muscly, full of energy, and you do not want to get in its way if it's charging at you. It'll be full of energy, vitality, fertility. It's all about putting things into motion. It's all about change and a movement and things happening, whether you want them to or not. And... As I mentioned before, you really don't want to get in the way of this kind of energy if it's coming at you in a way that isn't as you would want it to be. So um, this rune can be really exciting when it comes up in a reading, if it comes up in synchronicity, because it can mean that things that have stalled things you've been trying to get off the ground for a while are finally moving. But it can mean that change is happening and it might not be the change that it makes you happy or that is right for you if it comes up in an opposition reading. So let's take a look. And I was thinking rather than in Fehu where I had the Fehu in synchronicity and the Fehu in opposition, whether for Uruz I should just look at the different ways it can come in and say this can be positive or negative because that's honestly how it is but anyway we'll continue in the same format because it works for most of the other rooms so uru's in synchronicity so this is when it lands with other runes that spin a more positive message around it due to the way they're placed etc so this is things are moving forwards in a way that is either beneficial to you even if you don't believe it is at the time or things that make you happy so it can be a really good time for things to be moving especially um, if you've been waiting so a good example of when this came up was when we were looking to purchase our current place um, we had months and months and months of waiting and then Uru's came up in my daily read and we had a phone call saying that the people selling to us had finally found a house and things were moving because we were looking at um, pulling out and looking for somewhere else. So it was quite beneficial. Um, it's usually a sign when it's in synchronicity that positive change is coming in some form. It might not be a way that they can picture if the querent is, has asked about a certain situation. But it is a sign that something positive is coming or something for their, their good or their interest longer term is on the horizon. It can mean in the workplace that um, positive change is happening or maybe a project is finally happening that has been on hold for a while, something that the querent's really excited about. It could be some really exciting times are ahead. It could also be that if um, you've been looking at for a particular job that suddenly it's become available and things will move quickly. It could be that you were stuck in a job application black hole and kind of not sure what was going on and suddenly things have started moving again. So it's those kind of things. It could also be a massive change happening such as restructuring or an organisation that is for the best or that has lots of clear benefits and they do happen. Um, I've seen them myself. <laughs> Re restructuring and reorganisation I know can be frightening for a lot of people but it can also provide a lot of opportunities or maybe it's a case of things are being restructured and you're going to get a really good payout that allows you to go and do something you really want to do because you've been wanting to leave for a while so it's going to be things like that big big changes and things moving if this comes up in a romance reading, it can mean a step up of the relationship to another level. It could mean that a partner who's been a bit holding back or reluctant will fully commit and things are going to move in a direction that works for both of you. It could mean um, that someone's finally decided they want to commit and move in together or maybe get engaged. It could be um, a baby coming in. It could be all sorts of things that are big changes and positive. So usually I'm expecting if I see Uruz to see a big change in a positive direction, whether it's moving in together, meeting the parents, uh, a 
the child. It could also indicate a long-term relationship that's been a bit of a, in a bit of a stagnant place, or maybe um, all long-term relationships have their ups and downs. So it could be, you know, it's just going from a period of not so great to into a more up kind of period. So it is quite exciting when Uruz comes up. Um, and just <laughs> just a side note on this, actually, Uru's can also be a surprise pregnancy appearing uh, when it's least expected. And not in a way that's bad, but um, it has popped up for a few late life um, babies in readings that I've done where um, someone in their 50s has suddenly discovered they're pregnant. They're delighted, but it's a surprise and it's a big change. So it can also come up in a health reading and usually it's a sign of good health, virility, fertility, lots of energy. Um, it could be, uh, you know, entering into a period where you're finally able to get back to the gym, go swimming, whatever it is that you want to do. Or it could be a sign that now is a good time for you to go and do that. So Uru is in synchronicity. Again, we're looking at the themes of change. Um, it's enforced change that will come along whether you want it to or not but it's going to either be something that you are looking forward to or is beneficial for you or the querent whoever you're reading for in some way or other. Now if we look at Uru's in opposition we're looking at change that could feel uncomfortable or even frightening and change that is going to affect the status quo in a big way usually not something that the querent wants or in the querent's best interest. So it could be big changes in the workplace that will not be happy ones. Maybe it's a new boss who comes in and decides that they want everything run their way and they have no experience whatsoever and it all goes to pot. Maybe it could be uh, redundancy, maybe it could be the company closing down and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so it's usually changes that you're not looking forward to or that can leave you feeling a bit frightened or wary of what's happening in the future and if this does come up in that kind of reading Think about what your skills are. Think about, you know, making sure that your CV is up to date. If it's related to a specific project, think about other things that you could do to mitigate risks coming up. Because as we know, nothing is set in stone and it might be that you can see things happening and you can mitigate them rather than let them happen. It's really important that we do not let um, this energy you think oh well it's things that I can't change so I'm just going to sit back and let it unfold that is not necessarily the case there may be actions that you can take to stop things getting completely bad um, so do be aware that if it does happen in one of these readings that there may be things that you can do to make it not so bad and this is a good time to explore what those things are either through the runes or brainstorming it could be big changes in the relationship that are not conducive to the long-term health of the relationship. It might be a big change that is happening that is going to um, ultimately break down the relationship or instead of breaking things down, this is a case where if this relationship is important to you, you need to invest more time and energy and effort into that relationship to ensure it lasts. It might be that you will need to go to counselling or something of that effect. It could be a combination of changes such as one of you losing your job, um, losing your house for whatever reason, these kind of things or even, um, I don't know, the boiler breaking down and costing thousands that you don't have to repair, putting strain on the relationship. And when these kind of tests happen, these are the things that can either make or break a relationship. So again, what can you do to mitigate the effect of these things happening to your relationship? And of course, it might genuinely be that the relationship has run its course and it's time to pivot and move on. So the big thing is with Uru's, no matter which context it appears is that change is coming and if you don't get on board, on board you could get left behind. One great example of this is people who don't future proof themselves. I know in the workplaces often you're introduced to new systems and it can be really, um, I'm just trying to think of the word, it can feel really Always childlike and going back to school to get excited about these new systems. But if you don't integrate them, 
into your working pattern and you don't become very effective compared to your peers. They're all going to move ahead and leave you behind. And I can think of one example of someone um, that kept talking about corporate BS, etc. And this is when I did work in an office. We did look at certain um, applications and things and upskilling ourselves and he refused so the rest of us were very proficient in using spreadsheets and this individual would print off columns of things in the spreadsheet then use a calculator to add up everything within that column and write in the number underneath or attempt really really <laughs> long uh, multiplication in his head um, and it would be wrong he would take much longer to do the same amount of work that we would do, but just refused to learn how to use Excel. And there are often times when this happens that our stubbornness or our unwillingness to change can be our own downfall. So it could be that we're going to be moved into a position where we have to change what is comfortable for us in order to move on. And often it's not going to be a message that we want to hear at that point in time but we have to get behind it and again future-proof ourselves. It can very rarely, please don't panic, indicate a catastrophic change. Um, it has come up unfortunately, <laughs> maybe it was a week or two before a storm when um, someone's car got smashed by a tree. <laughs> I laugh now because it was just we said at the time, oh, well, hopefully it's nothing big and this tree got uprooted in the storm, along with many other trees, and their car was smashed, and thank goodness it was overnight and no one was in it, no one got hurt, and the insurance covered it. However, if, in the context of things, you know, something big is going to happen, it is worth making sure that any contracts, insurance, Anything like that is valid and up to date. If you know there is potential in any part of your life for a big change to happen, make sure that you're covered and just go through and mitigate the risk as much as you can. And that's the key thing when you see Urus in opposition. Sometimes changes are going to happen in life that we don't like, that we're not comfortable with. And it's going to be, quite frankly, a shitty period. But we can either sit there and take it and be miserable or we can, yes, go, or, you know, I'm not happy about this, but there are things that I can do to make it better, to mitigate it, to not make it as worse as it could be, to manage the risk a bit more manageably so that when something does happen, I'm not completely screwed over. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, my website, if you want to go to it, is tarotreadingsandtea.com. Make sure you have downloaded the... Um, link to the rune learning spreadsheets um, to help you with your notes on this and I'll see you in the next video which is Rytho.